going to take a short roll of video as I drive along here uh, on Schoolhouse Lake. Kind of cloudy, kind of smoky. Not much breeze. Not terribly hot, but kind of buggy. Probably will run out of video. I've got to upload my videos off of my phone. Lots of ducks over on the right. Just kind of watching the sun as it comes out of that haze. Lots of cattails. Lots of canary grass way up over my head. Well, here's a video of some uh, white face ibis. Um, I uh, really blew it. I had a large flock of these birds, which are very unusual looking in flight in a flock. Fly, but that's not alliteration. Straight over the top of me, and I pulled out my camera and got just another typical picture of Ibis in flight when I should have videoed the whole flock with my uh, iPhone with just a actual two-time zoom. It would have been an unbelievable video. So now I'm... And there's my old buddy the coyote complaining. I don't even see him, but he doesn't like me when I show up here. He's warding me off. And there are inordinate numbers of Canada geese here in August for some strange reason that weren't here last year. Everything is different from year to year in the water. They move it around differently and God knows what. But that's kind of picturesque there with the uh, ibis in a row like that with their reflections on the water and the grass below them. That's a nice little video, I think. Well, as I look at these ibis, I, I just realize uh, all the wildlife flying over to the right is a large flock of, they may even fly across the, uh, let's see if we can get them. There they are. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. So those are black neck stilts. And uh, flying across the scene there, those are two cinnamon teal. And uh, Avocet over to the right. Canada geese out in the middle. Coyote barking at me. Sandhill crane off in the distance. And a great blue heron just flew up on a bank across the way. I think there's a couple of great blue heron out there. I mean, there's a lot of wildlife here just to see in this uh, video. Very cool. Well, there's a bunch of ibis real close. Too close even for me to take pictures with my 600 millimeter because even though I can zoom out, the uh, little grass that you're seeing is... Uh, There's something that's got these waterfowl all going in a weird way. But I might stand up just to see how much closer I can get with the phone. So they've got a kind of an iridescent quality to this rather dull looking coat that Turns out in the sunlight to have like a every shade of the rainbow in them. 
but here they look kind of dull colored because it's an overcast day. But I'm going to get out and see what I can do here. Well, they all acted like they were going to take off and then they just landed right back down again. But that's about as close as I can get with the iPhone. You can see they got a little reddish brown on them when you look close. So I'll just set the phone down and pick up the camera and get some close-ups. As you can see, I got some pretty good uh, video of the uh, ibises in flight, the white-faced ibis. I am trying to discover just how uh, the iPhone 7 Plus will work at filming wildlife, especially birds in flight. This was a cloudy, smoky day, so I see graininess. After all, I am using a digital zoom. But I think if I had the sun at my back at a, what they call a sunny 16 exposure, I think I would have some pretty nice videos here.